Hi, the FML from Tenderfoot Electronics is our new 8HP Stereo FM Tuner module. It has a number of different scanning features and an internal clock that allows you to flick between the channels at a rate of 10 channels per second down to one channel every 10 seconds. This can also be triggered from an external clock and in this video we'll look into that and all the other features in more detail. Now to start off, since this uses an analog FM tuner, the station's available and their clarity is, is pretty dependent on location, both country-wise and more locally within your own country. So it'd be best to see if radio stations in your country still broadcast analog FM signals. The, uh, the module operates from 87.5 megahertz up to 109.0. Uh, so also make sure that that's the standard in your location. Included with the module is a 75 centimeter telescopic BNC antenna, which connects to the front of the module in the, the top right of the panel. Trying out different aerials and aerial positions could also improve your signal or give you some interesting effects. Now, even if your country has discontinued analog FM broadcasts, uh, there's no reason that the FML can't be used as an interesting noise source or even a potential device for tracking down pirate radio stations. Now, if we look at the top of the panel, we can see the antenna, which we've already talked about, as well as the LED readout. The readout is pretty quick to read once you've figured it out and is read from top to bottom. So here we're currently tuned into 87.7 uh, megahertz. If we rotate the encoder a little bit to the right, we'll come up to a position where we have two LEDs lit at the bottom. Now we read this just by taking the, the value in between those two. So currently we are at 87.8 FM. So just before I cover it up with a patch cable, I'll talk about the stereo output. So it has separate left and right output jacks. Now, if nothing is patched into the left output, you can see the right one is labeled mono. So the left output is actually normaled into a mix with the right output. So we can still get a, a mix of the two stereo channels if we just patch into the right output. So now I'm gonna patch the right output into the mixer and just turn the volume up so we can hear how that sounds. Now, when rotating the encoder, if we don't push down at all, we'll be fine tuning in steps of 0.02 megahertz. If we push the encoder in and rotate, we can tune more coarsely in one megahertz increments. Now, below the tuner dial, we have the skip controls. On the left, we have the current mode indicator, and on the right, we have the internal clock control. So currently, we have the loop function selected. If we turn the clock on, we'll hear the radio skipping between channels at the rate determined by the speed dial. So let's go ahead and turn the clock on. Now we can slow that down a bit. So at the fastest end we have 10 channels per second. And at the slowest it's one skip every 10 seconds. Now in loop mode, once we reach 109 megahertz, the radio will jump back to 87.5 and start going up again. If we tap the mode button once, we're now in the up down mode. In this mode, when we reach 109 megahertz, the direction will be reversed and we'll end up going back down through the frequencies until we're back at the bottom again. If we put it into random mode, then with every clock pulse, a random frequency is selected. Thank you. 
Now going back down the panel again, we have the CV input jacks. The first one labeled skip is where you can input an external clock or trigger to jump to a new frequency, uh, essentially in place of the internal clock. The second jack is the CV tuning control so that you can sequence various radio stations or frequencies from an external sequencer. And it comes with a little attenuator right here. And the final jack is the CV control of internal clock speed, which can be used to slow down or speed up the internal clock. Now the final row of jacks are a trigger output jack, which sends a five millisecond pulse when the frequency is changed. So every time either the internal clock changes or you turn the frequency dial or an external skip trigger is received by the module. This can be used to trigger an envelope or any other triggerable function in your modular. Then the final two outputs we've already covered, we have the left audio output and the right slash mono audio output. While tuning into a frequency, if you find something you like the sound of, we can actually save that channel into memory. The FML can store up to 40 radio stations in non-volatile memory. This is done by tapping the mode dial whilst holding in the encoder button. So let's turn the volume back on and find something we like the sound of. Okay, let's say this. So we let's find a few more. Okay, so we tap. now every time we save, you'll see all of the LEDs flash on. This is just to uh, let you know that you saved something. Save that. It's an interesting tone. Yeah, let's find one more. There we go. Now we're going to turn the clock on. And after we've turned it on, you'll see that it's still cycling through every radio frequency available in the range. Now, to jump between the stations that we saved, we need to hold down the mode button until the mode LEDs invert. In this mode, we'll only hear our save stations. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in this mode, the extinguished LED is the one that's actually indicating which mode you're in. So we're in loop mode now. Up down mode. Let's slow the clock down a bit. And random. Now stopping the clock and turning the tuner will still function normally, so we can still find another channel and we can still save more stations uh, while in the secondary scan modes. So let's find a few more. Let's go right the way up to the top. Okay. Oh, let's go all the way back down to the bottom. Let's find one last channel. And let's turn the clock on again. 
，因为咱也好，咱的嘴巴，长，越，好过。And you can see it's playing all of those stations that we just saved in the order that we saved them in. The up-down mode, again, it's going to go up through the uh, through the list of save stations and then back down. And then the random again is completely random. Now, if we want to erase all of the save stations, we just hold the encoder and mode button together until all of the LEDs light steadily. So let's do that. There we go. And if we let go, and now that we've let go, uh, we're all done and we've got an empty save folder again. And just to check that, we can turn the clock on and because we're still in the uh, the saved station mode, there should be no movement. There we go, so we've got an empty save folder again. Now, I hope you found this overview of the FML module interesting. And if you have any questions, then feel free to get in touch via the comments or on our website at www.tenderfootelectronics.com. The FML will be available this summer in 2022, so keep an eye out on our social media and website for news on its release and the available dealers. Thanks for watching.